Hey there, health fans. Welcome to our channel, where we're all about keeping you healthy. Today, we're talking about something great for your kidneys. Kidneys do important work in our bodies, cleaning out waste and extra stuff. But what happens if they're not doing their best? That's where we come in with a natural solution. Kidney issues often come from inflammation, holding on to too much fluid, and bad stuff in our bodies. Good news is, certain herbal teas are like nature's helpers. They've got things that fight inflammation, help you pee more, in a good way, and clean out the bad stuff. Ever thought about which herbal teas are like a best friend for your kidneys? Let's find out. Get ready as we share the top 5 teas you should drink every day. We've picked these 6 herbal teas because they're proven to be good for your kidneys. From the comforting ginger tea to the relaxing chamomile tea, each one has something special to help your kidneys. But wait, there's more. Along with telling you about these teas, we'll go into how they work and the best ways to make them for the most benefits. And we've got some extra tips just for you. Before we begin, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for more content that will boost your health. Now, let's start this tasty journey to kidney health. Are you excited to find your new favorite tea? Number 6. Ginger Tea This spicy and tasty drink isn't just a treat for your taste buds, but a super healthy choice packed with antioxidants. Surprisingly, studies with people who have kidney disease have shown that ginger might help boost kidney function. Why does it work? Well, ginger has lots of active compounds and good stuff that are good for both your brain and body. One key player is gingerol, found in ginger, which is known for its strong healing powers. It's especially great at fighting inflammation, a big deal in conditions like kidney disease where inflammation is common. Ginger tea is like a natural fix for it. Moreover, ginger is known to help prevent stomach ulcers and ease common digestive problems like indigestion and constipation. Especially for women, ginger tea has an extra advantage. Studies have shown it's as good as certain medications in reducing menstrual pain, but without the usual side effects. And that's not all. Ginger tea is famous for stopping nausea. Now let me tell you the easiest yet most effective way to make ginger tea. Just slice fresh ginger thinly, around an inch for each cup of tea. Put these slices in a saucepan with fresh water. Use one cup of water for each serving. Bring the water and ginger slices to a boil, then let it gently simmer for 5 to 10 minutes, depending on how strong you want it. I find 5 minutes is usually good. Strain the tea to get rid of the ginger pieces. Make your tea even better by adding a slice of lemon or orange for a bit of tang. If you like, you can also add a bit of honey or stevia, especially if you're managing diabetes or prediabetes, to soften the strong ginger taste. Quick reminder, before trying any home remedy, it's crucial to check with your doctor to make sure it's safe and fits with your health needs. And there you go, a tasty, good-for-you cup of ginger tea packed with both flavor and benefits. Number 5. Nettle Leaf Tea This herb, often called the mother of all tonics, is famous for more than one good reason. Packed with important minerals and having awesome cleansing abilities, it's especially good for the urinary tract. And the best part? It not only tastes good, but also gives you a nice boost. Nettle Leaf Tea comes from stinging nettle, also known as nadal, or singer. In its natural form, it's a bit tricky because it has needle-like hairs on its stems and leaves that release irritating stuff when touched, causing a burning feeling and rash. But no worries, once dried, these leaves are totally safe to touch and eat. Just a heads up, if you're gathering them yourself, wear gloves to be safe. To make nettle leaf tea, just use one tablespoon of dried leaves for each cup of water and let it steep for five minutes. Now, why is nettle leaf tea so good for you? 
While the fresh leaves might not be comfy, the dried ones are famous for their anti-inflammatory and pain-relieving powers. Recent studies, especially those looking at arthritis pain, have shown results similar to NSAIDs, pain relievers, when using stinging nettle extract. Amazingly, people were able to rely less on pain medication because of this herb. This is super important for folks dealing with chronic conditions like CKD, chronic kidney disease. In places like Germany and France, it's even approved for treating urinary issues, showing off its detox skills. Beyond its anti-inflammatory effects, stinging nettle also helps your kidneys by making you pee more, getting rid of extra toxins and fluids. Number 4. It's green tea. People often think it's just another regular tea, but green tea is actually pretty special with its awesome health perks. It's not just nice to drink, it can also help your kidneys heal. So, what's the big deal? Green tea is connected to loads of health benefits, like lowering the chances of heart disease and cancer. Its heart-friendly powers, thanks to the polyphenols it has, are especially cool. These compounds help chill out your blood vessels, which is also good news for your kidneys. Green tea's superpower comes from its high catechin content. Because it goes through minimal processing, Green tea keeps lots of these special nutrients that only the tea plant has. Catechins are so strong that they don't just fight, but might also stop cell damage. In a big Japanese study with over 40,000 adults for 11 years, they found that those who drank the most green tea, five or more cups a day, had a way lower chance of passing away during the study. So, green tea is not just great for your heart it's one of the healthiest drinks you can pick. Don't forget, a healthy heart is key for your kidneys, so green tea is a win-win. It's also helpful for managing diabetes and making your body respond better to insulin. That's important because diabetes is a big reason for CKD, chronic kidney disease, worldwide. But be careful about when you have your green tea. If you drink it with meals, it might stop your body from soaking up some minerals, like iron. That's important for folks with kidney disease. Ideally, have your tea a few hours away from meals. Also, green tea is a great switch for coffee. Coffee's caffeine can bump up your blood pressure, but green tea has less caffeine. So, you can cut down on caffeine without quitting it completely. A cup of green tea has about 100 milligrams or less of caffeine, way less than what you find in coffee. Now, want to know the best way to make green tea? First, remember, for all the good stuff in green tea, go for high-quality loose-leaf green tea, not the bagged kind. That way, you're getting all the good bits from the whole tea leaves. To make the best green tea, Start by pouring non-boiling water over the tea leaves and let it sit for about 10 seconds. Then, throw away this water. This helps get rid of some of the initial tea stuff, getting rid of anything that might be a bit too intense and making sure you get the real taste of green tea. Next, pour hot but not boiling water onto the tea leaves and let it steep for one or two minutes. This lets the tea leaves fully open up and spread the goodness of green tea, so you get all the good stuff. But, if you can only get green tea bags, that's okay too. You can still get their benefits for your kidneys using this method. And here's a tip when picking your tea. Always go for brewed teas over bottled ones. Bottled teas and soft drinks often have lots of sugar basically liquid sugar, which isn't great for your health. Even the diet or sugar-free kinds aren't great for your kidneys because they might have additives like phosphates used as preservatives. Brewed teas give you health perks, while bottled ones usually don't. Number 3. Horsetail Tea It's a herbal gem that's been valued since ancient Roman and Greek times for dealing with kidney issues. Also called puzzle grass, 
This plant is especially good for people dealing with holding on to too much fluid. Its gentle diuretic properties help your kidneys get rid of toxins, playing a part in the healing process. But what makes horsetail stand out is its ability to fight off harmful stuff with its antioxidants. It helps stop the buildup of free radicals in your kidneys, reducing the risk of oxidative damage. Moreover, horsetail is known for its ability to bring down blood sugar levels. But the perks of horsetail don't stop there. People have used it for skin and nail care, helping wounds heal, treating osteoporosis, and aiding in bone repair. Some of these health benefits are linked to a mineral called silica in the plant. Silica helps store calcium, crucial for healing bones and strengthening nails and hair. Horsetail is easy to find globally, and it's affordable, whether you're looking online or in physical stores. When buying it, Make sure the cones are green, not brown, a sign that they were harvested at the right time. These cones are what we'll use to make a strong tea to boost your kidneys. Here's how you can have a tasty and healthy cup of horsetail tea. To make the tea, just steep one teaspoon of horsetail in two ounces of boiling water for at least 15 minutes. Strain it and enjoy this supportive remedy for your kidneys. Number two. Dandelion tea. Dandelion tea, often brushed off as a simple garden weed, is actually a gold mine of health benefits, especially for those dealing with kidney related problems. The roots and leaves of this modest herb have been used for centuries in different cultures for their medicinal properties. Now, let's get into the details of why dandelion tea is a must have for your well being. Firstly, dandelion tea is a natural diuretic. This means it helps the body get rid of extra fluid, a crucial job for maintaining kidney health. For people with kidney disease, managing fluid retention is often a big challenge, and dandelion tea can gently assist in this process, reducing the strain on the kidneys. And there's more, it's loaded with antioxidants. These compounds fight against free radicals in the body, cutting down on oxidative stress and cellular damage, things that can be harmful to kidney health. The antioxidant power of dandelion isn't just good for your kidneys, it helps your overall health by giving your immune system a boost and reducing inflammation. When it comes to blood sugar levels, dandelion tea has some promising advantages. Studies, like the one by Doan Smith in 2022 in the Journal of Herbal Medicine, suggest it can help regulate blood sugar. This is crucial, especially for people with diabetes, a condition that often leads to kidney disease. But wait, there's more. Dandelion tea is also known for detoxifying the liver. A healthy liver directly supports kidney function by lowering the overall load of toxins in the body. The teamwork between the liver and kidneys is essential for keeping your whole body healthy. Now, how do you make this powerful herbal tea? It's pretty easy. For a basic dandelion tea, take about 1 to 2 teaspoons of dried dandelion leaves or root. Put them in boiling water and let it steep for about 10 minutes. If you're using fresh dandelion leaves, increase the amount to a small handful. Strain the tea to get rid of the leaves or roots. You can enjoy this tea as it is, or add a bit of honey or lemon for some flavor. Remember, the best time to have dandelion tea is either in the morning or early afternoon because its diuretic effect might disturb your sleep if taken too late in the day. A quick note of caution. While dandelion tea is generally safe, it could interact with certain medications and may not be suitable for everyone. Always check with a healthcare provider before adding it to your routine, especially if you have health concerns. Fun fact Dandelion tea has a rich history in traditional medicine, often found in historical remedies across various cultures. Have you ever tried dandelion tea, or do you have other herbal teas you swear by? Share your thoughts in the comments. Number 1. Chamomile Tea 
Many of you might already appreciate a warm cup of chamomile tea. Chamomile tea is often cherished in the evening for its sleep-inducing qualities. But did you know that the quality of your sleep significantly impacts your kidney health? Chamomile tea goes beyond being a bedtime treat. It actually helps your kidneys in multiple ways. Along with promoting a good night's sleep, it enhances digestive health. Most importantly, studies have shown that it can lower blood pressure and reduce stress, making chamomile tea an excellent choice for improving kidney health. It's not just effective, but also safe to enjoy every evening. Personally, I love chamomile tea for the tranquility and health benefits it brings. However, it's crucial to remember that relying solely on any one tea isn't enough to prevent illness. Your overall health is connected to your lifestyle and dietary choices. So, while you might enjoy green tea or chamomile tea daily, it's equally important to maintain a healthy lifestyle. This includes not smoking, staying active, and following a nutritious diet. If you're eager to learn more about how diet plays a role in kidney health, you might find our next video enlightening. That's all for today, and I appreciate you joining me on this journey through the world of beneficial teas. Please press the like button and subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for more health insights. See you in the next video.